I'm not leaving this bed until you leave my head. Here we go. I don't need fucking me. I know I did. This is my first solo investigation. Yeah, uh, wish me luck. Got to walk 300 yards apparently to the new, to the building itself. And would it have been a first for me? I am not too sure how far that really is. You can see now, it's my first investigation by myself. About 10 miles outside of Scunthorpe. Map took me here. So literally, nothing to nothing basically see the fence just over there literally can't see fuck all in front of me uh, literally apparently it's 300 meters from where I was um, looking up so because I can't fucking find it Literally walking in a field with a pin on my phone, and I'm just walking towards that pin in the middle of nowhere. Um, just me, my bike, and uh, just in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of exciting, really. But I must have made it, it is, but. I just can't see where this fucking house is. Oh, wait, I'm seeing a figure in front of me. Um, the shape of the property. This is gonna be fun. Because I've only got a certain amount of battery and all my equipment. So, I'm kind of hoping I've got enough, but I can see in front of me a house. Um, I can't hear no traffic no more. So no, I'm uh, quite far from the main road. I'm not worn the best footwear, brand new trainers to be exact, but I just fancied it tonight. For some reason, I was ill for a few nights. It's also about seven days, I think. Um, and I just couldn't get to it. But at the moment in time, I believe we are here. So this, this is, I believe, the outside of the property. Now, it's pretty much this here it's quite scary really I'm just admit. we are at Willow Farm um, I'm going to take a walk around first before I actually try and attempt to get in because it does say private property which is a bit of a killer for me but in bad way it's not great either but I'm going to have a look and take a look around um, I think the name gives it away, Willow Farm. Here's Willow Farm, but from the uh, stories that I've actually heard about the places, uh, there was a death 
in the uh, in the family, and there was a husband and wife that owned the place, and finances didn't speak, and something went really wrong. And from what I've heard, he shot her. Whether it's true, I just do not know. But looking at his property, it is very 1920s, 1930s. Looking at the brickwork, very, very period in itself. And like I said, it's my first investigation by myself, so it's going to be fun. And literally surrounded by nothing. I mean, the power cables don't even come to this property anymore, they've been cut. So it's, uh, it's all new. But yeah, Willow Farm. So well, that's tonight. Um, number of outbuildings, as you would expect. Random chains just, just hang in there, you know what it is. But you can definitely see it used to be a farm back in its day. But yeah, from the stories that I've read from people I spoke to, um, pretty much there was a bit of a feud in the family and he, uh, he shot his wife and, and killed her. Of a of a money, which it's not the best, is it? And uh, so this property had no other way of getting handed down to anyone because there was just, there was no kids in the family, and no other one to hand it down to. So it's just been sat here, and it's just been pretty much doing nothing, just rotting, and then. Me and my first investigation. I mean, this is just the outbuilding. I've got to get to the main building, yeah. I mean, it took me 300 yards to walk from this from the main road by myself, may I add. But, uh, oh, it's gonna be fun. So, what I'm gonna do is gonna be an investigation tonight. My first investigation, pretty much by myself. So, I'm gonna give it a go. I am literally in the middle of uh, nowhere. I've got a torch and I've got my equipment and that is about it, my mobile phone. Um, so yeah, give it, I'm gonna give it a go. It's a bit of a maze trying to get in here. I mean, you've got your outbuildings here. I don't know how much it picks up on camera, but there's a few, few art buildings here. Um, and then you've got your main building, which is pretty much there. Uh, I don't know how much that picks it up. I don't know, it's hard, it's, it's pitch black, it's, like, it's bloody hard. I've got two cameras to go for me, and I've, I've picked up my freaking night vision one, but but I don't know if you can get to the main building so yeah no we can't so this is another out, out building uh, old light um, I like things like that like the old hooks and this stuff I'm not too sure if this is a trough or I'm not too sure, but looks like it may have been. I don't know. Another, another hook there. So I believe this is like a chicken coop or something. I don't know. The roofs are really intact. Like literally, the slates on the roof are absolutely immaculate. Even the girders are immaculate. Um, I mean, I hazard a guess, 1960s, 1970s, probably just this building itself, 
just by looking at the fixtures and fittings and in the wood. I mean, I don't know, I'm just guessing, but this main house is going to be fun to get to because I'm buying brand new trainers. There's the main house. Oh god. See how much you can see of it. There's the window there. I don't know how to get to it at the moment. Um, yeah. Out building. More like in a. I would say at the moment in time it is very much like a uh, visit of an old place. Looking at the fridges and stuff. But I believe, I mean, looking at the brick work there, that's definitely external old rock brick work, with it, which the view to us a wall. Um, very 1950s, 60s. And add that to the original bit of work that you probably get on the 60s onwards. But then you get your fridges. I believe they'll probably use that to keep the uh, the feed in for the for the external farm. It's just weird. More, more hooks to a certain extent. So this is the main house here. Um, I would say, looking at it from the outside, it's definitely a three, maybe a two bed. So it's not massive. Um, I've got to try and get over this. Fuck me. Get over this wall. One second. Literally, just fall apart. So we are at the main property. Uh, yeah. This is getting a bit nerve-wracking now. So yeah, basically, there was apparently a bit of a feud between a, a, a wife and his husband, and her husband, uh, money came in. It didn't go down well. And he shot her with his um his gun for what he used for a farm. Shot her point blank. Um the pop he didn't have anyone else to hand down to, ooh, hand down to. So it just sat here and it's uh, pretty much rotten. But apparently it's really, really active. Now I've got to try and get in here without breaking my neck. Which sounds fun. I don't actually feel nervous. Oh god. Chesterfield chairs. Jesus. Wow. I feel more nervous walking in. And I did get into the place. Fucking hell, man, I remember jump. So literally it is an old farm cottage attached to it. And these are literally old Chesterfield suite. Now these are worth a fucking fortune. They are. Uh, and it's it's you get your two piece there, and you get your two singles here. They're worth a fortune by themselves. But you can see the wood going all the way down the room. I mean, this is like period wood, like old, old period old wood. So cool to see. And normally when you get the farmhouses you get the uh take my jacket off. Mm. 
my old world. What the? Wow, it's real nice. I mean, the switches are definitely 50s. Very nicotined up, so they they definitely smoked. All the kitchens all cladded with wood. That's underneath the stairs. Boats. And a random old helmet, which is rather random. It looks like there's a bit of smoke damage here, so there's definitely a fire that's happened in the past. As you can see, it's, uh, it's definitely got some uh, aftermath of a fire. It wasn't a very big fire because it's only taken one wall. But look at that old hook there. Oh, this stuff that I just told the age of a pop eh? It really does. All the doors are all wooden. You can just see it's uh, definitely appearing. It's, it's look. I just find it so bizarre. Oh, this is just sat here. I really do. I'm definitely here for a a bit of an investigation to see if any spirits still reside in this building. I would like to think they probably do. Especially when you've got old jackets that still sat there from when the place was deserted. Scary. And that toilet, which I'm very desperate wanting to use, but I'm not going to. Ready for the upstairs? I'm glad you are, because I'm not too sure. Can I go on a place like this when you're with someone? You have a sense of uh, security when anything goes wrong. But when you're by yourself, Totally different. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's uh bloody hell. Literally nothing left apart from the original bed. Happy exploring Jonas <laughs> Free credibility there for you pal It's mad to think that I actually slept here All these old plaques Like The first place I believe in horse riding I'm not too sure First place there First place there as well. Maverick television storybook. <laughs> I think it'd be on my time. Oh, he's what? 30, 40 years old? He's older than me, he says. These are uh, whatever happened here. She, uh, she had struggled breathing. She struggled breathing, that's for sure. Because these go down the neck. And uh, I'm sure they help breathe. So I should struggle. Struggle breathing. Dick Francis. Woman's Weekly. God. Yeah, she, uh, she liked reading. She struggled breathing, so. I don't know what to call these. I keep thinking cathartica or something. 
but I don't know what it is called. Pretty much. I think, personally, I think the, these are used if you really are struggling breathing. First place in horse riding. Doesn't say anything on it, but it looks like a horse riding thing. I do not know. Medal after medal of first place. For, is these me, you, you kids? I don't know. But there's just the fifth place one now. There's just so many. Oh, there we go. So that's the second place. Sparky. Tw 12 years. Spark that's 76. 29 for the 8th. 76. Bear in mind me in 2021. So this thing I hold in my hand. <laughs> Second place, bear in mind, is that uh, very old. Fourth, the ninth, 77. 77. I wasn't born then. That was the fifth place. Seventy-six. It's hard to read that, but it still says Douglas something on the back. I seriously don't. Well, I do mean to, but I'm I'm looking for more answers, just to see the story of um, who lived here and what happened. I mean, that's seventy-seven again. Andrew Sparkley. I don't know if that picks up on camera. Andrew Sparkley, twenty-fourth of the ninth, nineteen seventy-seven. First place. That's the shit out of me. Give you an idea of how old the place is. You just look at like Claude Michael. I don't know. Mousen Shampoo. He's after 20 years. Framework on the windows, good 20 years. In fact, I'm here by myself though. That's scary in itself. See, look at that door handle. That's a good 40 year old door handle. Yeah, metal as well. almost envision what it used to look like and all the ceilings of all these polystyrene things I don't know how old they are but they're definitely not up to building regulations now because they would melt in a fire like crazy which would cause a fire so they are definitely not up to standard so I would say 25, 30 years, maybe more. I don't know. But most of them have come down now, anyway. Why they put them on a ceiling, I'll never know, because above it is literally hardcore, like ceiling like, but I don't know. I love walking through properties like this just to see. I mean, do you used to put paper inside cupboards like in the no, in the 50s, 60s? Because they believed it was cleaner. So seeing it now, kind of gives me the idea it's probably why. They're like that, and these are disc cloths. Something, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe disc cloths, I don't know. I don't know. Cute pattern though. Still having I still oh god look at that. <laughs> yeah. That's the remnants of a horse riding jacket. I'm not 
particularly sure, but I'm sure that's definitely a horse riding jacket. Only because of the belt on this and the inside and just the way it is. Yeah, that's a, that's a horse riding jacket. It's what you use for shows. Make yourself look smart. One more room to go. All these doors, by the way, are all wooden farm doors. And they've all got the same Artex polystyrene ceilings, which definitely would fail regulations nowadays. But, I'm going to walk into the last room. Oh my god, wow. UB40, old cassette, videotape. God. I remember watching these when I was a kid. More cassettes on the floor. I don't know what this one is, but you can soon find out. Universal City Studios. I don't know, it just says twins. If I remember rightly, twins was the Arnold Schwarzenegger film. Am I right? Twins, PG, Universal City. That is the Arnold Schwarzenegger film with uh, Danny DeVito. Old fireplace. Very, very breezy in here. I mean, literally, you could feel every breath of wind. Oops, coming from here. Um, See through the floor there, which is very scary. And because I'm curious if there's any spirits that still reside in this property. Very curious We're going to night vision. For some reason, it's gone flat, but there are brand new batteries in that. I don't know why it's gone flat, which is one of my main tools. So I'm in this house by myself, as you can very much see. I've got a ball on the side here, which I will move. Yeah, I'll put it on there for you. So if you touch that ball, it will flash. And there's one in the corner over there. And I think there's, yeah, there's one on the, no. All right, I'm using my best responsive ball. And I'm putting it on the side there. Now, in front of me, there's an antenna, a little blue light, and below that is a scene over my eyes. By the way, I don't know if you call that on camera. <laughs> below that is an e EVP recorder. So anything you want to say, that white, well that orange light will pick you up if you speak loud enough to it. If there's any spirits here that can literally hear my voice and are happy to communicate tonight, can you go to that antenna where the blue light is and try and touch it? And that'll make it sound, make it go off. To say that I'm not alone. Is there any chance you can do that? Just 
go close to Antonio. Is the is there any spirits in here that would like to make themselves known tonight? By trying to tap something or make a noise? Or even um, trying to touch me? Touch my face or touch my hands or something so I can feel you? That antenna in front of me where the blue light is, you can go and touch that antenna and, and, and that'll flick me on make a noise basically so I can see that I'm not alone. Might take a bit of energy and a bit of effort, but it's possible. Right? I'm gonna go and touch it for me. Bearing in mind there's no power at all to um, to this building. And I don't think there's been any power for a number of years. Um, I can faintly hear the uh, the motorway to my right, and that's pretty much it. I can hear everything else. Very quiet location, middle of a field. So you can see this place was pretty much uh, an old farmhouse property surrounded by fields hence where the horse thing came in and the plaques and stuff like that so they was very very proud of what they did very proud i'm just curious to see if there's anything still here that wants to communicate tonight if there's anything here tonight with me in this building do you want to try and make that noise again, what I thought I just heard? I just thought I heard a voice. I can hear one's voice. Am I hearing a woman's voice? Can you try and say what you just said again? Personally, thought I could hear someone speaking. If there's a person, if there's a person in this room or in this house with me, God, I can make that ball flash. You just made it flash. That's my next question. I heard your voice, didn't I? It's, I don't know what it said though. On the... You make me, oh, you make me nervous. On the table, the orange light. Can you say something in that orange light for me? You know, my voice recorder. And try and tell me why you're still here. Bearing a man and by myself. I've got no one here. I've got a ball flashing like crazy in front of me and I can hear voices. But weirdly, I don't feel nervous. If you, if you can hear my voice, can you make that ball flash again? And go close and touch it. Wow. You're here with me, aren't you? There's a number of ways you can communicate with me. 
So you can make a noise. I can feel it touching my hand. It's very cold now. I can make something move. Bear in mind, if you make something move, you might you might make me move with it, but I won't run away. I promise. I'm here to document your story. I'm here to listen. You're making that ball go off like crazy because it's an easy thing to do. Above that ball is an antenna with a blue light. Can you touch that instead? Try and touch that antenna and that'll make it flash, make it go off. I've moved that ball and I put it on the windowsill. You know where the yellow gas bottle thing is. If if you're still here, can you make the ball flash again? By touching it? Or make the blue light flash on the antenna in front of me? Can you tapping around me? Can you make a noise, a, a really loud noise so I know you're here? I'm here to document you. Ask you questions. Find out what happened. So I know you've got your story. And I know that you want to communicate tonight. I have a feeling that you want to communicate tonight. I'm trying to get this turn on. Brand new batteries and it's just flat. But it's my main source of communication in EMF. And it's literally nothing on it. It's just dead. Which is a great sign. I'm changing the ball position. I'm going to put it in places where you might find it easy to touch. Um, I know, I know. Um, some of these balls are hard to make go off. I mean, that one's on there. Oh my god, another one just on the doorway there. Whether you can see that, I do not know, but you might just, just there. So, I'm here by myself, just me, just me by myself. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous because it's the first time I've ever done this. But I do this for a reason. Because I'm curious. I'm curious about life after death, how it works, and what actually happens. Pretty much I'm full of questions, pretty much like the nation is. What happens when you pass over? This house, is there anything that still resides here? Is there a spirit that still likes to live here? If there is, can you try and make the ball go off in the car in the hallway for me? Try and make it flash. Or there's one on top of that shelf. 
both of them, you have to go near. You can go near one of them, it will flash. And you'll probably give me a mini heart attack because they're so far away. So, either them two, you can touch. Or the antenna in the middle of the room with the blue light, go close to that and touch that. Tell me that you're here. Tell me that life does exist after death. You made the ball flash once already, more than once. You make it go again. Absolutely shit on myself. All I can hear is voices above me. But yeah, I know there's no one upstairs. And it sounds... Sounds like a female, I think. Might be hard to pick up on camera, but it sounds like a female voice. Can you try and do something? To make a noise, to make yourself known. Try and move something. I know you've got the power to do it. I know he's a heavy smoker as well. Look at like the nicotine surrounding the place. He, was, he smoked a lot. Can you try and make a noise to let me know that you're here? Something loud enough so I can hear. There's a piece of paper on the windowsill. Can you make that piece of paper move? Can you try and touch it? Oh, got him here tapping behind me. One second. Can you throw something if you don't want me here? I'm going to go upstairs. I don't want you to follow me. See that goes off when I go near it. So if you go near it, I'll do the same. So if I go upstairs, you can make that go off if you want down here. No one else will be down here apart from you. So. I'm going to take this ball upstairs with me and see if I can get any activity. I'm also going to leave the stuff downstairs. Because if there's anything going to go off, it can go off down here by itself. Let's see what happens, I suppose. I think the stairway is uh, around here. To remember, more speaker. Right, I'm going upstairs now. If there's um, anyone in this property that can hear my voice, uh, and can come upstairs with me, it sounds weird, but don't get me wrong, it's not. And make yourself known, I'll be more than happy to listen. So I'm going to take this up there with me, this ball that flashes. And if you touch it, it'll go off. So, that'll be really good. I'm falling out everywhere because the floor's so uneven. I'm going to go into the main bedroom 
where I think it might be more active. So I'll put this ball in the middle of the floor, turn the light off, and we'll see if you're actually here on the bed. Might hopefully didn't die in the bed. I hope it didn't. So I'm sat here now in the bedroom. I don't really want to be. If you're in here with me and you died on this bed, which is a very sad thing if it did happen, can you make that ball on the bed flash by touching it to let me know that you did unfortunately die on that bed or in this room? You have to touch the ball though to make it flash. You'll give me a mini heart attack if it does go off, but it tells me that you stuck you here. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll put it near the door. I don't know why, but something's telling me to put it near the door. This might be more easy for you to touch. So it's in the doorway now. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera, but how slanted that door frame is. Like literally, it's so slant. I mean, it's hard to pick up on there, but it's really slanted. Like the whole building is just slanted. If, you, if there's anyone in this room with me, can you make that ball flash in the middle of the doorway for me? Make it go off by touching it on the floor. Tell me that someone is here and listen to my voice and that I'm not crazy. This whole house is creepy. Really, really creepy. You could just, everything is like walking back in time. It's just, everything is just so period. I mean, I'm used to my mud cons, I'm 34, so I'm, I'm, I've been pretty much brought up with them. But then you go in places like this and it's like literally all period, old stuff. And it's like, wow, it's just weird to say, but cool nonetheless. Downstairs is an antenna on your little table. You can touch that antenna and it'll go off. Can you do that for me? I can hear you tapping. Can you make a louder noise so I can pick it up? Oof. Can you make that louder for me? Can you tap that door in front of me? In between that door and the floor, there's a little ball, a little coloured see-through ball. If you can use your energy and touch that ball, it will flash. It might take a bit of effort, but it will do it. That tells me that you are here. You can hear my voice. And you're more than happy to communicate tonight to tell me your story. Because I'm here to listen. I'm here to give you the avenue, that choice of telling me how you died and if you're happy. I just thought I heard your voice to the left of me, but I'm not too sure if I'm in the stomach. 
Is there any way you can make it more clear that you're listening to me? By trying to move something? Make a louder noise? Oh, I heard that. Is that a girl I can hear? I can hear a female voice. Can you come closer, girl? Can you try and make that ball flash in the middle of the door for me? On the floor? I can move to a different room if you want me to. I know he was into your horses. He was really good at it. A lot of first places, more than seconds and thirds. Because I've heard a woman's voice three or four times. But I can't understand what you're saying. Can I just hear you? Can you make that ball flash for me? By touching it. It's only me here tonight. No one else in this room. No one else in this house. So if you want to do anything you want, there's only me that's going to see it. Which I know it'll be hard to drum energy up because there's only me here. But it's still possible. You can still do it. Before I go, are you still happy here? If you're still happy here, can you make the ball on the floor flash for me to tell me that you're still happy and you want me to leave you alone? Once you make that ball go off, I'll, uh, I'll understand. I keep hearing noises around me. All I need to do is touch that ball to make it flash. I just said you touch something fucking next to me, it scared the shit out of me. Can you touch that next to me, that would then? Can you make, make a noise again? Made it go off. That sends shivers down the spine. There is someone here, but it's really hard to communicate into it. I can still hear you. Only just. Are you happy that you're here still? I want me to leave you alone. You can make that ball flash again and I will leave you. I promise I will leave you by yourself, in your own home. I'm not here to hurt you or harm you. Make that ball flash again for me and tell me that you want me to leave and I will leave. I know it's hard. You might feel alone. Yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening to what you've got to say. 
and that orange light on the table, if you speak to that, that will hear you, it will hear every word you've got to say. If you've got any message you want to pass to anybody that's still living, say it's that orange light on the table and when I get home I'll listen to it and I'll tell and try and tell that one person that message. I promise. Because you've died doesn't mean you can't tell us your story. Because you've died doesn't mean you disappear. You've got family still. We're here, I'm here to listen. Yeah, and by this point I'd pretty much had enough. I'd done four hours, I was hearing uh, noises absolutely everywhere, some of them very unexplained, tapping behind my head. And when I was hearing that woman's voice upstairs and I was downstairs, it just, my, my heart couldn't take it anymore. I wanted to do this solo investigation and I wanted to put myself in a situation where I'd feel uneasy because I knew in the future I'd be doing it more and more often. So I had to be done. So I learned a lot from the full investigation and like I say, I spent four hours here by myself and I thoroughly enjoyed it from start to finish. I believe we could have had a bit more evidence and a bit more something happening in front of me, but I think my nerves are on that much of edge. I just, I don't, I don't know, but it's, it's very much a learning curve and I, I felt in my head I needed to do it. I'm glad I've done it and I'm glad that I've actually uh, fulfilled what I wanted to fulfill. And knowing that I'll be doing it a lot more in the future, um, I'm just going to take away from this location all the experience that I've, I've gained from it. Um, but again, looking forward to the next one.